<laughs> Coach, a heartbreaker out there. You erase the 19 point deficit, lose on a possible buzzer beater that this doesn't fall. Can you just get your general thoughts? Um, man, what an exciting game. I thought the players worked so hard. They showed a toughness in the second half that um, was encouraging for us as a co coaching staff to see um, them be able to battle back on the road from a 19 point deficit. And uh, again, like you said, giving us a chance to, to win there at the end. Um, you know, winning the last two quarters, having four people in double figures, just says a lot about the direction that we're moving. So the team came out in the second half and scored 53 points in the second half. What, what went on in that locker room at halftime? Um, we, we just kind of came out of the locker room and um, we knew that we were still in the game. We knew that, uh, you know, Longwood had a lead, but we also knew that we didn't play our best basketball the first half. We knew that um, we were in foul trouble and we putting them on the line like way too much and we knew the scouting report and we knew that that's not what we were, we were intending to do. So we just kind of came out of the, the locker room with a lot of confidence and we knew we had dug ourselves into a huge hole, but um, we just wanted to try to do our best to play our best basketball and, and fight our way out of that and they did that. Um, and we had a couple of chances there to tie it up um, as well as take the lead and um, you know credit to Longwood for um, taking advantage of those moments that we didn't make the best of and then they came down and they hit some timely free throws and made some shots as well. What was the I guess, um, the team like on the bench? As, as the, are there any long faces as they're falling behind or is it kind of like everyone's just like we still have a chance here? No, yeah, the whole time everyone just kind of felt like we still had a chance and I mean if anything in the first half people were like what's going on? <laughs> like what is wrong with us right now? And so coming into the locker room like I said they were just all very positive. Everyone was very confident. We spoke about the adjustments we wanted to make. Um, we had 17 turnovers at halftime, and in the second half, we only had three. So again, we just needed to focus. We didn't come out with the focus that we needed, um, and, and it really came in and it bit us in the butt. But I'm excited that they were able to show the, the team that they really are in that second half. You have to love you know, seeing the freshmen lead yeah. the team, and especially a veteran like Uda kind of making that big step this year and taking over when she's out on the court. Yeah, we need, I mean, Uda and Kayla playing together or, or playing for one another is a great, um, nice little tandem for us. And then, yeah, the freshmen, they are stepping up. We're, we're needing them to not play like freshmen because they're not getting freshman minutes. And, um, and they're answering the call. I mean, for Jen to want to take that three at the end to win the game just says a lot about um, you know, her mindset and her confidence in her shot. So um, yeah, they're, they're gonna only continue to get better as the season goes on. And, and of course we wanted to get this win and, and it meant a lot to us. Um, but again, I like the direction that we're moving. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks.